The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, same. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode on, of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick. And alongside me, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he loves penises and hates girls who like vaginas. Please welcome Mr. JP. Yes, sir. Great to be here. Yeah, I know. And ladies and gentlemen, he is back. Please welcome back the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. I didn't, that doesn't seem like enough applause. I don't either. Let's uh, let's do it again. All right. there, 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 there we go. There we that's go. Better. Okay, that's enough. Um, that's, uh, <laughs> that's very nice of them to applaud for me that way, uh, which makes me feel bad about starting negative. But, Scotty, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Love I, great I, to have you back. back. Yeah, I, I have no real reason for saying that. Just I'm stating the obvious. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Oh. Uh, but, ladies and gentlemen, if this is the very first time you've ever listened to the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast, this is a comedy podcast where you like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. Uh, this is also an adult podcast where you like to use foul language and offend people people who have very thin skin. So if you are one of those people, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and goodbye. Who, buddy? Who, buddy? Man. You I want to go first? I, I mean, well, I'm going to get there. Why don't you just go I don't, first, I don't man. think so. You're I, excited. Let's go. I could use an yeah. app. We've got headlines. We've got never have I ever. We have that's where I draw the line. A lot of questions in Perguntas. Uh, we got a draft, and it's always a shitty situation. But we get to talk about what's happened to us over the last week and several months for Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Mm. And I think mm. it only fitting that we, <laughs> we start off with JP's very, very fun-filled weekend that you had to have had. Dude, something's wrong with your fucking neighbors. Uh, <laughs> are they blocking the streets again? Yeah, man. <laughs> this time for no apparent fucking reason whatsoever. <laughs> like, just sitting in the middle of the road, yeah. single dude, sitting in his fucking stupid ass Ford Edge, <laughs> just in the middle of the fucking road for no reason with his hazards on, just sitting there. Just fucking nobody else in the neighborhood out. Well, nobody. doesn't that typically mean he's broke down? Yeah, I was going to say, that's no. what hazards normally well, mean. He's not. Okay. <laughs> He's just a fuck. <laughs> and I don't understand how 10 blocks can make that big a difference. But, uh, are, like, I, I, it never happens till I'm within, like, three blocks of here. Oh, yeah. And then they just sit out in the middle of the road. Because well, why the fuck wouldn't you? Are you telling me you've never set up a citizen's DUI checkpoint? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but I might now. Yeah. That could be fun. Dude, if you got nothing to do on a Saturday night, yeah. just fucking set up camp in the middle of the road, stop people. Oh, that's smart. <laughs> I'm just your breath, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Breathe, bitch. <laughs> Dude, that's a good idea. Here, yeah. blow this. Yeah, try, yeah. try to do it to a police officer, too. You, That'd even be you more drunk? Fun. Yeah. Good. <laughs> yeah. Have a nice night. Make sure you wear your seatbelt. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, but no. Did you uh, did you do anything else over uh, other than get road rage on the way over here? <sighs> nope. Okay. That's, um, not really. That's fair not enough. Not really. I, have, uh, you, have you finished your Starlight uh, show you're watching? Nope. Okay. Sugar. Sh whatever. But uh, I did watch. Uh, I, I guess we're going to talk about it later, so that's okay. I we did are? watch some stuff. Oh, okay. Oh, we're some oh, stuff out. That's oh. one of them. Okay. Okay. But yeah. Oh. I uh, checked that out. That was. Pretty fucking good. Okay. Oh, is that a segment now where we talk about things we watch? Uh, yeah. Instead of doing it. If it's when on, you're as boring as I am, Jeremy. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I always add it in my week, week, recap. And I think right. that's fine. You keep on doing that, but if it's on the well, headlines, thanks. then thanks, we Thanks, I have your fucking permission. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. what I fucking needed. I know. Uh, was your go-ahead. Well, speaking of which, Jeremy, you haven't been on the show in uh, probably a couple of months, I think. Could have gone in a couple more. <laughs> you could have. <laughs> uh, but you were always the very first call, and uh, I, was, I was much obliged that you uh, decided to come on the show. But obviously... Oh. 
You, um, I don't you, know what any of those words mean. That's okay. big words. They're big words. Um, but you much. Ha- you, what does that mean? <laughs> right. <laughs> you haven't been on them in, in, in several weeks, at least. But uh, what have <clears throat> you been up to over the last several weeks, there, Jeremy? Not a whole lot, to mm. be honest with you. Uh, I can tell you, I, I bought a new pair of shoes. Ooh, what kind? Some uh, Skechers. Oh, okay. I never thought I'd buy Skechers, but I wanted something I could just slip on, and they've got the slip-ons. Yeah. And I found a pair that I liked, and then I look at the box. And they say in on on the box in big green letters, vegan. <laughs> <laughs> and the sales lady's like, "Did you find something you like?" I said, "I noticed it says vegan. Are you telling me there is no meat in these shoes?" <laughs> and she kind of chuckled and went, "Oh, that just means you don't have to worry. No animals were harmed in those shoes." And I said, "Yeah, I'm not interested." And I put them back on the shelf. <laughs> now I wound up buying the fucking shoes, but. Not when she saw. So <laughs> as far as she that knows, I just insist home. on animal cruelty. <laughs> I want something to have been harmed yeah. in the making of my fucking shoes, whether it animal or person, whatever. Yeah. Just fuck something up. Right. So I can have comfortable feet. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, uh, the other thing uh, that uh, I talked about last time I was on, I got a new dog, you know, mm-hmm. and um, it didn't take very long to figure out that this dog had some fucking issues. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, all dogs have some issues, especially like I, I got a used dog. I got uh, <laughs> he, he just, uh, we found out exactly how old he was. He just had his first birthday yesterday. Nice. And we are his third owners. Ooh. Um, and I've, there's a reason for that, I think. Um, no, not uh, good. Uh, yeah, no. Um, we took him to get fixed, right? Because he was fucking everything. <laughs> JP, did you hear the story about I this? I did. Okay. I did. I was here. All right. No, you weren't. I was here when you told me about the dog. When you told us you got a dog. Derek was here. I was here. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. I'm not. I'm pretty sure Derek was here because it I was the OG3, what? Oh, yeah, it probably was. Oh, well. Anyway, you yeah. just listened. You're I knew a fucking about your dog. You yeah, were okay. here in spirit. Yeah. I probably listened to that episode because I'm loyal as fuck. Yeah. Probably. Mm-hmm. I've never listened to an episode ever because <laughs> yeah. I'm. Not worth trusting. Really, you can't trust me. I, I'm going to stab one of you guys. <laughs> Heads up, JP. Not going to be you. Uh, I wasn't worried. <laughs> so anyways, uh, on the way home from getting him fixed, uh, come around the corner, drive, pulling into my neighborhood, and the motherfucker jumps out the car. <laughs> <laughs> now, he wasn't after anything because my wife got right out and was able to wrangle him, so he didn't like chase anything, but... I, so I don't know if he just lost his balance when we were coming around the corner and rather than fall down like a normal fucking dog, he just went with it. <laughs> but I can tell you he did not fall out. Motherfucker jumped. <laughs> and so with a freshly sewn incision on his what's left of his scrotum, oh. we got very lucky he didn't yank stitches out. Uh, so both me and my wife agreed which is a rare thing for us to agree on. <laughs> this ain't good. This ain't good. <laughs> so we bought this thing that's basically a leash, a short leash that one end hooks to his collar and the other end buckles into the seatbelt. And uh, next time we went somewhere, we used that thing. It took five minutes for him to chew that thing in half. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, fuck this. I'll jump out when I want. In a way that we didn't even realize he was doing and apparently because he was in the mood for a nice chew then he grabbed his regular leash and chewed that into three pieces with the remaining 10 minutes of the drive and so we kind of came to the conclusion that this is a level of uh, hyperactivity and anxiety that we are just not equipped to deal with so we actually sent him to dog boot camp for a month to get professionally trained and dude i'm telling you that guy worked a fucking miracle. Really? Yes. It was amazing. I mean, it, it was expensive. Sure. Don't get me wrong. As, you know, when people hit your dogs for money, they charge quite a bit. <laughs> yeah. they, they do. Uh, $18,000. Now, Holy hear me. Holy shit. Hold is on. That, did I go no. too high? Did, did time I go too high? out. Time out. Time is that, out. Is that too much? No, it was a couple thousand dollars. That was 500 okay, bucks a week. Fuck. But, okay, but. No. Holy uh, fuck, dude. You have me going. <laughs> I was about to lose my shit. <laughs> Same. Dude, I have eighteen dollars in my bank account. I'll God, fucking what, train what your if, dog. What if for for a dog we paid five hundred dollars? Right, right. That's the that's an expensive fucking dog now. 
Yeah, and and we got him because I didn't want to spend the money on a purebred. <laughs> I, I put so much more money into this dog now. Right. However, now he's not perfect. But if like say on the behavior scale, if like one to ten, ten being like the absolute best behaved dog you could ever hope to have like you know a service dog well oh, trained yeah. something like that he's not there yet but i would put him about an eight and a half or nine wow that's uh, great i can do he knows all his commands he comes when he's called which is a huge one um <laughs> if i could figure that one out dude <laughs> i'd pay the eighteen thousand without fucking his bed right <laughs> wow god damn that is impressive. That's impressive now to call him we did have to get him a cell phone which is a little more <laughs> <laughs> it's a monthly plan yeah, a, yeah. <laughs> i found that to be a little ridiculous there's another two grand on a uh-huh. phone i mean dog doesn't even have opposable thumb <laughs> so we can't text he can talk to text. he can only facetime he can, he can box bark to text yeah no. okay anyway sorry jimmy go ahead uh anyway yeah um but he knows all of his commands i can walk him anywhere off leash wow um I mean, he just is fucking amazing. And and he is completely like threshold trained. So you can have the door wide open. Unless you tell him he can go out, he don't go out. Wow. Yeah. My dog does that stuff, and I didn't have to train her at all. <laughs> right. Yeah, you got what they call a good dog. <laughs> oh, she's a purebred St. Bernard. I'm, I'm glad that you... I, s- I got what what is basically a fucking obstinate toddler. <laughs> He's like, fuck this bitch. You're going to military school with the body of a fucking defensive end. I mean, that's, that's what he, Dude, that's awesome. He, he was never like mean or anything. Just he saw what he wanted and he was going to get to that. And yeah, he yeah. didn't give a fuck. You pay, you paid $2,000 to have some stranger cattle prod your dog for four weeks. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No, no, I, I don't. I, I would love to go along with this premise, but I know for a fact he didn't because he allows kidding. visitation. Okay. And dude makes YouTube videos so you can actually oh, see the progress. Nice. Which is what uh, I would do if I was trying to cover that <laughs> shit up as well. Uh, no. You don't see what the cameras are turned off. <laughs> now, he does use a training collar. Oh, yeah. A shock collar. Yeah. Um, but he mostly just uses the vibrate feature. Yep. Um, and dude has a perfect dog trainer name. I want to give him a shout out. J.D. Woofter <laughs> is the man's name. Yeah, of course it is. He, right. In Mulvane, uh, nice. top dog obedience training. Uh, if, you can't, uh, if you can't get your dog in line, I highly recommend this guy. You don't have to do a full month like I did. What do you think he charged I, me to fucking ship Scotty over for a month? <laughs> oh, damn. I don't know. Jesus. He, he charged a shitload. I'm kind of annoying. He likes working with intelligent animals. <laughs> right. oh, yeah, there oh, okay. Go. There you go. There you go. Just for you. But Scotty, I know you have a dog that fucking goes ape shit anytime a loud noise That's comes true. around. You might want to look into this guy. <clears throat> yeah, we had a we had a thunderstorm here that rolled through Kansas uh, yesterday. Yeah, and uh, it missed us by miles. Uh, oh, but yeah. you can still hear thunder off in the distance. It barely rained, and uh, my dog was freaking the fuck out on trazodone, like uh, well medicated anxiety medication for dogs. And he was still freaking the fuck out and it was nothing, but you so. get it from Mexico, right? So there's fentanyl in it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right. I have to, it's, it's cheaper, way cheaper, way cheaper. <laughs> Shit's coming in at the border. Yeah. You can't afford it's coming in <laughs> yeah. at the border. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's new Mexican. Stuff. Oh, it's, yeah. it's the new one. Mm-hmm. I got you. Um, and then I guess as far as what I've been watching on TV about the only thing really of note that I've watched, like, well, two things on Netflix, mm-hmm. both, I watched the three body problem. Okay, is that any good? I haven't started it yet. It it is, but be ready to be left on a cliffhanger because you can tell they're setting it up for another season. Okay, well, um, that's all right. And uh, then I watched Baby Reindeer. Okay, I have not watched that. I've been told to, but oh, it is so fucking creepy. Yeah, I'm out. I mean, <clears throat> it it's I don't want to say creepy. It's dark. Okay, it's, it's about a guy who gets. Uh, who was just nice to this woman. He was a bartender. He was nice to this woman. And she turned complete psycho stalker. Yeah, okay. I have I, I have seen previews of that kind of shit. And I do. Stalkers are some fucking weird shit anyway. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, of course, this is in England too. But even in, in the States, a, a woman stalking a dude is like they treat it entirely differently. Oh, and yeah. it's bullshit. Because even though, yes, we can defend ourselves better. 
we're not really by societal rules allowed to. Right. And yeah. so we're fucking hamstrung. And it's just so scary to Fuck think somebody that. can I will do hit <laughs> that bitch. <laughs> All right. I will hit a bitch. Just I know will. that people people are going to call you gay for doing that. I'm yeah. okay with it. Um, well, I mean, those so those two shows, have you seen, have, did you uh, go get into, uh, oh, fuck, uh, Fallout? Did you watch Fallout? Yet? I did watch Fallout, what'd yeah. What did you think? I liked it. I never played the video game, never, so I didn't see, know anything is. about it, but... It wasn't bad. I didn't have real high expectations going into it. Mm -hmm. um, I thought it was great. I, I, I thought it was fine, yeah. yeah. I, I was thought entertained it was by it. Gory as fuck, but other than that. Fucking Walton Goggins. I love him as an actor. He's the guy that... that uh, he's the ghoul. Oh, yeah, yeah, dude. He's good. He's good in everything he everything does. Everything he's in. He's in. If you have never seen Justified... Yes, the he original was, series. Oh, he was God. that's a Excellent. good show. You talk about a creepy motherfucker. Did you know that he was also in Sons of Anarchy as well? Yep, as, as the trans as the trans yeah. as the trans person. Yeah, yeah. So eh, there you go. He's been in a lot of shit. Yeah, it's it's very good. Uh, so is that your your couple weeks? Yeah, a couple months. Yeah, months. I really haven't done much. No, that's fine. You got any woodworking going on? I haven't done anything since my saw almost killed me. Shucks. Uh, we got reminded uh, that it, luckily you decided to come on the show the same week that they're having the Harbor Freight $30 or more, and you get a free bucket. I think I've been banned. <laughs> yeah. After, yeah. after <laughs> the <laughs> last incident. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Harbor Freight. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> well, what if I did walk in and it's that <laughs> same woman, and she sees me, and she's just like, no. <laughs> Manager, <laughs> get him the fuck out of here. <laughs> Guy tries to get a bucket with a coupon. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. Well, uh, most of you guys know I, I shared a picture of, uh, of my brother getting, um, get, well, getting ready for the wedding. My uh, brother, Fred, uh, he got married this weekend. Yeah, hey, congratulations. Yeah, Fred. congratulations. It was so cool. Um, the next five or six years are going to be great for him. Oh, they sure are. Actually, they really are. His 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 wife is, is pretty damn good to him and awesome. But um, so yeah, I did share that. Uh, but uh, she's terrible to you as well. She should be. <laughs> she's great to me too. <laughs> she does everything to you that that trainer did to my dog. Yeah, so, that's not good, <laughs> right? Uh, but no, they got married on May the fourth, and naturally, of Fred is already a huge Star Wars fan, and I think she kind of tolerates it. Uh, and doesn't love it as much, but likes it enough. Um, their wedding vows, when they said, instead of saying, I do, uh, uh, they said, this is the way from Mandalorian, which sure, I thought was good. But there was a whole bunch of Star Whatever Wars. Whatever you say, nerd. Yeah, I know. I'm a little nerd. But can can, uh, can I, before you go into this, Yeah. on a side note, completely unrelated, other than the Star Wars thing. Yeah. Have you seen the guys on TikTok who are like the uh, Empire Truthers who like insist that the Death Star was flat? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. and they're like dude i'm telling you i looked at the engineering there's no what no way one x-wing could have taken this whole thing out that was a controlled demolition from within <laughs> that's, awesome. that's great it is that's it is phenomenal uh but no it was a, it was uh so it was on a saturday day kicked off um and and my brother is he's the coolest brother in the world he actually got me a uh Something to protect myself with, mm. which I'm I'm very very proud of. He got me a uh, a Hellcat, which is made by Springfield. I thought you were going to shoot me when I came in here. Today. No, no, I'm very very proud of it, and uh, it's it's a badass gun, uh, but it's a it's a micro, so that way I can actually conceal it, and and uh, nobody even fucking knew I wore it all weekend, and nobody had a clue. As far is as it? I know, you've been concealing a micro mm. for years. <laughs> <laughs> Something different though. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, this no, one actually works. It's a very rare occasion that you go to a wedding and somebody that yeah. is in the wedding gives you a yeah, gift, which I thought awesome. was fucking amazing. Is it uh, weird that I could seal carry with a full size 1911? <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually do, and I nobody know. ever knows that I have it on. I, know. I, I don't have it on. I got yeah. one of those guns like Far the Gino. Joker at the end of Batman. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, just oh, pulls yeah? it out. Yeah, that's what I got. Absolutely. An 88. Um, <laughs> but the day actually started out with us getting haircuts and beard trims and stuff like that, and that's really not all that important except for what happened to me while i was getting uh my beard straightened um a very very sweet girl uh, at this place here in wichita um was was shaving my beard and uh she had me lean back and all of a sudden i started feeling my heartbeat in my face like bad and then i started profusely sweating i was wearing a t-shirt and it looked like i was i had just worked out i was sweating so bad i was overheating 
<coughs> you're getting and, your beard straightened, so they were praying the gay away? Yeah, Is probably. That, I was just getting ready to say, <laughs> yeah. whenever I was in high school, my parents sent me to a camp to straighten my beard. It That'll did, make this work out. Didn't work. Uh, but no. Oh, there was a lot of sweat, though. So, so you're CNC Music Factory over there. Right. I, I am sweating my balls off, and the girl kind of freaked out. She goes, oh, my God, are you okay? And I, I felt my consciousness closing like a fucking elevator door. And, she, and I'm like, no, I'm not. And she goes, do you want me to, to sit you up? I said, yes, please. Do you want water? Yes, please. And I had to recover from 10 minutes. And she's sitting there with this manila fucking folder just blow like air on me to try to cool me the fuck off. Weirdest thing I've ever happened to me. I don't know what the fuck happened. Huh. Uh, I do. You're a fucking frail little baby bird of a human being <laughs> who uh, gets fucking wiped by a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> no, and haircuts and beard trims, that's like me getting pampered. I love that. That's my favorite thing. Right, and you can't take it. Well, I figured out what... You're not man enough. I did, I, we ended up figuring out exactly what the problem was because after that, uh, we wanted to, or he wanted to get IVs for preventative maintenance for, for the night that was to come. And we went and you know hooked me up last out of the three guys that were doing the IVs, hooked me up last. I drained that bag in three quarters of the time that the other two guys were. I was dehydrated as fuck. And was so it full of your dog's tranquilizers? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was. Yeah, yeah. that'll I'd, probably knock you out. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I slept uh, the rest of the day. Uh, but no, it was an absolutely beautiful wedding. Um, I... Uh, there was... They had, they had a live band that I wanted to give a shout out. It's called The Crossroads Sound. Uh, and they were fucking phenomenal. There was actually a saxophone player that, uh, that actually, after they were pronounced uh, man and wife... He dressed up in a, um, <clears throat> I can't use the legal word because I don't want us to get in trouble. <gasps> uh, no, it's not a Wookiee. He, it's actually a Bigfoot. Uh, there's Sasquatch? A, yeah, yeah, but I can't, use, I can't use that one because there's a famous TikToker that has a name like that, and I don't want to you know, do anything. You can't be, coin that phrase. That's an old Indian word. I know. And by Indian, I mean dot, not even feather. That's how old it is. Right. But he Snake dr- charmer. <laughs> but he dressed as, as that character. He's not the original, but he fucking was awesome, and he did that for free. He, he said he loved it. Um, and then also at the wedding, I got to FaceTime um, uh, Nunnally, Nunnally and his son Blake uh, to wish my brother happy birthday. It was pretty awesome. Nunnally has some videos going around about I thought what it was his, his wedding. Huh? I thought it was his Just, wedding. Justin's? No. Dave, wish your brother happy birthday? No. Oh, my, I'm sorry. On his on his wedding. To wish him, uh, you know, congratulations on the, on the wedding. Dude, this but, is a good wedding. Yeah, it's really good. Hey, man, happy birthday. Bless <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, no, he's got a he's got kind of like a couple of videos that are going on right now about the weird stuff that his son says. And we were FaceTiming with me and my brother and his son, Blake, comes on and uh, and Justin sends me like videos of his son, like fucking mashing baseballs, you know, like he, he's doing really mm-hmm. well. And so I, I message or I, I tell Blake he's on the video call and I just go, yeah, man, just keep stroking. And, and I swear to God, without missing a beat, he just like, well, that's what I do in my room when nobody's around. And I'm like, holy shit, he's 10. I'm guessing, I'm guessing his dad has prepped him for every <laughs> probably, probably yeah. situation. I mean, yeah. uh, um, here's the thing that kids are can be unintentionally the funniest people in the fucking oh, world. Oh, God, they definitely can. That, and, my yeah. son, that time, because he loved his chicken wings, and I told him we were going to go to Buffalo Wild Wings for bottomless, boneless chicken wings, and he just went, what do they do with the bottoms? <laughs> <laughs> in <That's>, complete seriousness. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's great. And I'm like, if you knew what you were saying, it would be so fucking funny right now. <laughs> Instead, I just feel bad for you because you're so dumb. Yeah. But it, it was an excellent. It was an excellent time. Uh, congratulations to uh, Clayton and Darcy. It was an amazing, amazing wedding. Pictures are just now starting to come out. I, I don't want to post all of those. I don't want to. In, in, I don't know. Incriminate myself or or the podcast for putting that stuff on online. So, uh, but I do want to give a shout out. Um, Sean Parks. Uh, he messaged my brother and he said he is getting married this coming Saturday. So. I hate to break it to you, buddy, but it's not all what's cracked out to be. If there's any way we can talk you out of it, you know, message us or something like that. Oh, I yeah, marriage is bullshit. Brother. Huh? I couldn't even talk him out of it. Well, yeah, your own brother. And he gave you a fucking gun to did. do it with. He did. But she's rich. <laughs> you nah. could have consented uh, him by force. Look, <laughs> no. <laughs> I, that's what you have to do. You marry for money. I learned that the hard way. Yeah. If, if you are in a wedding party and the groom gives you a gun as a <laughs> gift, that is a cry for help. <laughs> 
<laughs> just in case the wedding doesn't work out. Yeah, exactly. Put yeah. me like, out yeah. of my misery. <laughs> right. Uh, no. It's weird he only got one bullet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, he actually got me a full fucking box of hollow point nine millimeters. So, so he nice. wants you to do the job right and he knows <laughs> right. you're a shit that, shot. That's right. There you go. Uh, but anyways, uh, so congratulations to you, Sean Parks. Hope you have a great day, man. Uh, but yeah. Um, yeah, but that's uh, that's the week's... Oh, I did the last thing. I want to... Actually, since Jeremy Joseph is coming on this show today, I wanted to have... I wanted to give you a, a YouTube channel to check out if you already haven't. Okay. It's called uh, The Repair Shop. It is a it is a re- actual repair shop that repair antiques. There's a lot of... There's good woodworkers and stuff like that in there. Mm-hmm. And I mean... I. I got hooked on it, and there, I think, are four seasons, 49 episodes a season, and it's all very, very awesome shit. That, shit like that? I don't know that I've ever seen that particular one, but that kind of shit is fucking addictive. Oh, God. And infuriating. <laughs> I watch them do the shit that they can do, and I'm oh, fuck you. <laughs> Make that look so goddamn easy. Yes, 100%. You, I have, I have spent days trying to get rust off of shit oh, before, yeah. and yeah. they can do it in a in an afternoon yeah just wipe it yeah just they got some kind of shit that just takes all rust off which makes me think the part wasn't actually rusty to begin with sure it's a fake yeah but it's they're over in like just outside of london over in the uk and it's 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 a fucking good show except for these two ladies that oh anytime you can get those guys doing with a british accent yeah oh that's great to at least fall asleep 100 percent the repair shop yeah but they don't only do wood stuff they know they do all kinds all kinds it It is good there's like antique metal metal the one I saw was shit. like a bear, like a really yeah. expensive. Yeah, those like, two bitches are crazy. Yeah, yeah, those yeah. Those two yeah. bitches are crazy. Those are the only two ones that I don't I like. I actually like that Everybody show. Everybody else is cool as shit. Yeah, man. Okay. If, I, if, I, if, I, if I find an antique that I need restored, I'm going to fly overseas and have them fucking fix it. I will check that out, actually. It's fucking good. It is good. Uh, but now we get to move on to headlines. Uh, obviously, JP is into the, into the hockey, so... I, I, I want to give a congratulations to your Avalanche, Colorado Made it Avalanche. Through the first round. Made it through the first round. Who uh, they, who they play now? Dallas. Dallas. Okay, and they're good, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. I think I think aside from the Rangers, I think that whoever wins this series between Colorado and Dallas will win the Stanley Cup. Really? Between these two teams? Yeah. The Avalanche and the Ra- or yeah. Avalanche and the Rangers? Uh, no, oh, Avalanche and, and the and the Dallas Stars. Oh, okay. I think okay. whoever wins our series wins the cup. Okay. But I think the Rangers are gonna man. They're looking tougher and tougher. They haven't watched a single game. Yeah, of course you haven't, because yeah. you don't like good sports. I do like good sports, and no, and hockey no, is one don't. of them. I just can't. I mean, it's pretty Canadian for me, right? Right, Jeremy? Fuck Canada. Well, yes, for sure. <laughs> well, yes, yeah. Scotty, yeah. for sure. I thought that was just assumed. Yes, fuck <laughs> Canada. However, you, did you guys know that I invented the NHL playoffs? Oh, good. You did? You Congratulations. Did. Congratulations. I did. That's, that's that was my invention. success. Why don't they call it the Jeremy Cup? They should. They should. They should. I wouldn't let them. Oh. I wouldn't, I, I'm a very modest man. Right. Very good. Okay. I'm incredibly I humble. I'm that. the humblest motherfucker. I should have known that. Yeah. You find a humble motherfucker, I'll suck his dick. Okay? <laughs> that's how humble I am. <laughs> JP is going to all of a sudden be really humble. Look, it's too late. You can't retroact. Oh, oh, I mean, oh. Uh, but I guess Jesus like, got nothing on me. All right. <laughs> you uh, yeah. wash your feet. I'm I'll not. suck your dick. I'll crucify myself. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but anyways, uh, there was uh, some news coming out. I guess of the uh, what is, is it? Phoenix Coyotes are moving. Yeah, they're Phoenix. moving to Utah. They're mo- moving to Salt Lake City, Utah, where which... all the best hockey is. Dude, uh, <laughs> so here's the thing, man. They're stoked to get them. Yeah, uh, they had a little meet and greet and to it, uh, you know, meet the owner, meet the team, whatever. They filled the stadium. I mean, like it yeah. was a fucking regular game they were stoked they were all the kids were super excited to oh, meet yeah. the team Dude, they're mormons they don't even have television it was, it was a really cool it was a really cool thing yeah. to see they i saw some coverage of it or whatever hey man fucking a good for them i hope i hope they do yeah. support it and i for for arizona's fucking you know for the coyotes fucking sake these guys that have been fucking playing for a, an organization that doesn't give a fuck yeah for you know three years It'll be nice to maybe see some money put into the team and see some. I hope they change the name. They are going to. They they are uh, okay. They are going to. Come, they are going to come up with suggestions. Okay, and then they're going to narrow it down into like twelve and do it bracket style. Okay, I hope, it, I hope it's the biggest. They're gonna. They're gonna <laughs> vote for you know. They're gonna let the fans pick the team. I name, saw a couple of of, jo- of. They weren't serious, but like the Storm and Mormons. I saw yeah, was the one. Storm and Mormons would be great. That'd be yeah. fucking awesome. Here's what I've always heard too. Even though you would think being 
a, a state full of Mormons that it would be incredibly prudish up there. But I have heard every comedian I've ever heard talking about playing in, in Salt Lake City that it is the best. Yeah. That the people there <sighs> are wonderful. I'm I'm sure they're very polite. You, you would th- I mean even the dirtiest of motherfuckers. <laughs> Jesus uh, told, told them to be that way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The Jehovah or They're, Josiah or whoever the fuck. Uh, no, that's uh, whatever his name John is. John Brown. Yeah, no, not him. He, he's yeah. a he's a Kansas. Joseph Smith. <laughs> Joe Smith. That's Joe who it Smith. Is. Brigham uh, Young. He's yeah. the one who kind of brought him to Utah. Yeah. Um, who is by the way the great grandfather of Steve Young. Oh, okay. That's why <laughs> he, he's Mormon. That's he why he B- played at BYU. BYU. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, but actually, let's go ahead and move on to uh, some football. Uh, I'd like to talk more about Mormons, guys. Uh, <laughs> In fact, I've, I've got okay. some literature I'd like you to look at. <laughs> oh, yeah? Have you met our Lord and Savior, yeah, Jesus, Jesus Christ? Christ. Uh, poor guys. Um, but no, moving on to football. Obviously, we have some signings after the draft is uh, finally completed. Uh, we've got the Dolphins, to, as of today, signed OBJ. So you're going to pair OBJ with Tyree Kill and Tua. Um I think they're kind of freaking out about that signing just a little bit too much. He's going to fill the bench nicely. Yes, exactly. Yeah. That's, yeah. They're he's, pumping he's him up. He's almost my age. He's <laughs> a decoy. Uh, I, That's what he is. I think he, I mean, I think he's still It was just a okay. one-year deal. Yeah, but. What do you do? I, if it works, it works. I bet he doesn't, doesn't catch 25 passes. Oh, you sure. don't think so? No. Uh, I think he'll catch 25 in the first six games. I think Tua throws, really? I think Tua throws the ball way too much for him not to. Yeah. But Oh, he'll get the ball. He'll get the ball, but I, yeah, uh, we'll see. But I really, really don't think that that's going to really help the, uh, the Dolphins out a whole hell of a lot. Uh, but I thought this was interesting. The NFL authorizes in-game use of the Guardian caps on players' helmets for the 2024 season. Those are those fucking like little padded-looking yeah. pieces of shit that go over the helmets. Now, here's what I will say. Those have actually decreased quite a bit of the concussions and stuff like that in a practice format. But if you wear one during the game, I, I, the other team's going to call you fucking pussy. Well, fuck them. I'm just saying. You'll be able to do math after your career, <laughs> and they won't. <laughs> yeah, so. you won't be crazy. What I wonder is, I mean, are they bouncy? They look bouncy. No, I think they have like I think they have like gel in them or something. Okay. So, so, so it's absorption. Real, yeah. and I think I don't they just know. Look, they look bouncy. They look goofy as shit. So if they do, if they you're do. hitting each other full speed. Uh, the I main thing, bounce. the main <laughs> thing, I think the main thing that they use that they are prim- primarily for are actually the offensive defensive linemen, both both of those guys, because yeah. they get they that they get sense. hit in the fucking head every yeah. single play. Right. Um, and I'm sure that maybe if a wide receiver wants to do it, I mean, sure. But uh, I I think again, I think it's a great idea. I think it's great for player health. I think that if you wear it during a game, you will be called a fucking wimp. So that's it. I don't okay. think it'll work at all. Okay. I I know this sounds counterintuitive, but if you want to reduce the amount of head traumas that happen in football, you have to decrease the amount of protection. This will make guys far less likely to lead with their head. It will make them far less likely to hit you full blast. Right now, they're basically in a suit of armor yeah. that there is no immediate you know, in, uh, consequences for their actions. It's that long-term bouncing your brain around in your fucking head. You put more padding on the helmet, people are just more likely to lead with that part of their head because they think it's not going to fucking hurt them, but long-term it will. Yeah, like rugby players and stuff. I mean, obviously, they still get concussions and shit like that from time to time as well, right. but they don't lead with their fucking helmet you when they're trying to You don't hear about ta- those guys yeah. murdering their family when they're 35. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, yeah. If only I had a family. Yeah, Chris Benoit with a flying headbutt. That's right. what yeah, him man. In. Yeah. It's Every too bad. wrestler has that has used that as their signature move mm-hmm. has gone gone crazy. completely fucking nuts. That doesn't surprise me. Superfly Snooker, uh, uh, Dynamite Kid. Oh yeah. Um, fuck, there was a couple. Uh, Harley Race. I didn't even know he had that. Yeah, huh? he was kind of the guy who first started it. Wow. Uh, but yeah, so there is that. Uh, but I think probably 
um, the the basically the whole thing that I think everybody watched over this weekend because it was really a kind of a thing that was pretty awesome. I didn't even know it was happening. Oh man, Netflix hosted the the roast of Tom Brady, and it was and it was awesome, awesome man. It was really long. Oh, it was so it was really good. long. I heard Nikki Glaser Dude, had some good shit. Destroyed it. She <laughs> had the best set out of everybody. Really? Oh yeah. Over Tony Hinchcliffe. Over Tony. Hinchcliffe. I don't think so. I think Tony's was good too. Tony's was. Great. And I didn't want it to be, but it was. Why? You don't like Tony? He's okay. Who who I really don't fucking like and who did a really good job is fucking... Um, Andrew Schultz? Andrew Schultz. I love Andrew Schultz. That dude is such a pedophile dude. Oh, no, he's not. Yes, he is, No, man. he's not. Yes, he is. And if he's not, I'll dress like a kid and I'll fucking... <laughs> he just got married and had a kid. Yeah. <laughs> Nikki Glaser has this advantage in that she is very sweet and innocent looking. And so when that harsh nastiness comes out of her fucking mouth the most abrasive fucking jokes it just means a little bit more i think who, I, who do you think was the worst uh i haven't seen them all but i i saw the highlights of of especially hinchcliffe and andrew schultz and yeah, they were they were awesome they killed it they uh, did they the, did kill it what was awesome to me though was that like hinchcliffe went for the fucking jugular oh he did on, uh, was it Everybody. his? Was it his joke? Yeah, it was his joke the, about um, uh, Kevin Hart having to stand on the on like the stool that uh, Aaron, Aaron, <laughs> that Aaron Hernandez, Hernandez God, is, fucking yeah. kicked out from underneath yeah, himself. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. even like some of the people on the roast were like, "Oh, oh shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah." I heard on the radio today that it was very glaringly obvious that there were no Robert Kraft massage jokes. Yeah, there was. Oh, one. there were a ton. There were one. Was there? Yeah, oh, there was ton. one. Oh, really? Uh, what's his name said? Uh, Somebody was going off about how apparently they went through and told him that's off limits. Uh, there who, was, any. who was the, who's it the, was one of the very first people? Who was the roast king? He, he always was Jeff Hart. Ross. Jeff Ross. Jeff, Jeff Ross. Ross made the joke. Roastmaster General. Yeah, yeah, he said that when Tom Brady got hired, he marched it up the stairs into Robert Kraft's office and he said, the, the, I'm the best thing that you got that you know this i'm the best decision your organization has ever made and then he gave him a massage yeah <laughs> so then <laughs> oh. right after he said that joke tom brady gets up walks uh, over to him says oh really says something, something yeah and then sits back down but there were even a couple two or three more times yeah. where that joke was damned. definitely made okay i wonder what that guy was going didn't on didn't he about. make a didn't he make a reference to it himself i don't know he got I, up there? I, I don't remember i haven't, I haven't finished I, it. so yeah. what was this like some kind of a charity fundraiser? Why was this happening? Oh, no, and because guess who's coming out next? They've already announced who's going to be the next athlete who gets roasted, and that is Tiger Woods. Okay. So, so they're doing, like, roast. I think they're doing a roast series right, but again. Usually yeah. that the the benefit or the proceeds go to benefit some nonprofit Everything somewhere. that I saw was that they paid uh, Tom Brady $30 million to do it. So I don't know if he's donating that money to charity but good lord knows he needs it yeah he really does. he does but the thing that pissed me off out of everything was that the people who were offended by all of those jokes you got giselle because they made fun of the divorce oh, and man. stuff like that at nauseum and it's like you fucking bitch you're the one who cheated on him in the first place I'm shut gonna, up i'm gonna guess that that's why he wanted to do it because oh, he great. knew that that would they, fucking yeah. come up oh yeah. great oh, yeah I think it's great. And even yeah. even Aaron Hernandez's girlfriend got fucking offended. It's like, he fucking killed a guy. What the fuck are you talking about? Probably more than one. Yeah, probably. But oh my, someday his daughter is going to see this. I almost guarantee it. Yeah, she's going to fucking know. She's going to fucking know that her dad was a fucking piece of shit. But anyways, I thought it was also great uh, because Eli Manning, while he did not attend the uh, the roast he actually went out on Twitter and tweeted. Uh -huh. uh, he said he he was going to go but decided not to because he didn't want to roast Tom Brady for the third time. Oh, I was man. like, oh, awesome. oh, oh. I think NFL memes said something it's like, oh God, Eli Manning woke up today and chose violence. I'm like, fuck yeah, that's awesome. But the best quote out of the whole thing, that at least the highlight that I have seen, which was absolutely hysterical, was Tom Brady even. I mean, I don't think Tom Brady's uh, set that he had was great, but there was one quote that I have that I thought was awesome, and that was the NFL spent two or sorry twenty million dollars and found that it was more probable than not that I generally knew that somebody deflated my footballs, and he said. You could have just given me the twenty million dollars, and I would have just told you that I fucking did it. Yeah, like, yeah. I think that's fucking great. So, 
uh, yeah, that was that's pretty much the all the all the headlines that I have. That's pretty much all the news because I've been at a wedding all weekend and haven't been paying attention. So you know, if we miss something, guess what? It'll probably be on next week. But uh, do we have a diddler update at all? I haven't heard anything. I haven't heard anything new. No, nope, I me haven't neither. heard. I've heard this fucking Kendrick Lamar and fucking Drake battle yeah. going back and forth. Do you yeah. care? No, I don't like Drake, but I don't care either. Jeremy, yeah, do you care? Not at all. Good. Not in the least. That in surprises fact, me. I, I don't know any of those names. <laughs> that surprises me. <laughs> what, yeah, what, what is the diddler? You are highly What's invested the in there. Oh, they're fuck. Oh, the diddler oh, is P. Diddy. Uh, P. Diddy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. What was it? The FBI confiscated a bunch of his shit. Everything. Like, yeah, like yeah, everything electronic his in his house. Yeah, and, and they didn't they he probably have a lot of dirt on a bunch of people. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So and uh, he's hiding out somewhere. He's in some foreign country. Or some state that yeah, probably somewhere. New Mexico, <laughs> yeah, probably <laughs> yeah. making dog fit making and all. dog, yeah. <laughs> Uh, anyways, now we get to move on to the fun parts of the show. Uh, guys, thank you very much for participating in, uh, it was uh, Viernes de Monday. Uh, dude, I was rolling when I saw thank that. That you. was great, Thank dude. you. Jeremy, great job. It was what? It was Viernes de Monday. So it was Monday, Friday, but it was in Spanish for Cinco de Mayo. Uh-huh. If I had mariachi horns, I would push that button right now, but yeah, I don't. Yeah. Um, but work yeah. on your shit. I'm yeah, so get sorry. some fucking mariachi horns. Yeah, and then, I know. Then you fucking text me. <laughs> if right. I didn't know you didn't have mariachi horns, <laughs> god damn it! Uh, but Jer- I've never been so pissed off in my life. Jeremy, you're lucky a- I don't have that fucking gun over here. <laughs> Jeremy in a sombrero next to a bar table with beer and tacos with a fucking guitar playing cactus. I thought was just it was mm, good. Mwah. I liked it. It was great. great. Oh, because cactus can't play guitar. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I yeah. fucking get it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but anyways, jokes. thank you very much for participating. We had a lot of very good uh, suggestions, and we're going to kick this off with Never Have I Ever, and the first one comes from Roger Colton. He wants to know, Never Have I Ever Had Sex with a Deaf Person. I don't, I don't fucking really. gross. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck no. Uh, that'd be a little awkward. Come back when you're smart enough to hear. Because then, then you I'll wouldn't know you. if she's trying to tell you something or if she was moaning because she was enjoying it. You know what I mean? I think it'd be hot. <laughs> you think it would be hot? Because, you know, when you don't have one sensation, your other ones are all heightened. Ah, that's true. I think it'd be hot. I don't I, know if they had, like, superhuman sensation, but, you know. I mean, we're about. To, I would love to find out. Oh, I yeah. would definitely suck off a, 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 a deaf guy. Okay. Well, that's good. I haven't because I haven't met one okay. that I wanted to. Yeah. But and like the disability I, isn't like absolutely like oh it's fucking gross <laughs> yeah, it's fucking it's gross fucking disgusting can't hear and no hear and ass bitches I would never do this it's fucking dangerous because they can't hear your safe words <laughs> oh that's true too uh, you'd have to have a safe sign yeah what is it tap four times like yeah, that well my safe sign is also very close to my fucking steel sign uh, and well, so they may just think you want to steal yeah. or butt. <laughs> oh god right, we're doing the suicide squeeze guys that's that's autoerotic asphyxiation yeah for, oh boy that's for those who shit. don't know yeah um all right next one comes in from donnie thompson jr he wants to know Never have I ever been permanently kicked out of an establishment. <laughs> Jeremy out of a harbor freight. <laughs> I, I have always said, I've said it many times on this show, uh, that I have a rule with regards to uh, go-kart tracks. <laughs> I'm not leaving until they ask me to. <laughs> uh, define what you mean by permanently, because I have been kicked uh, as, a, as a teenager. I was... Uh, Kicked out for the entire summer at the public swimming pool. <laughs> what did you do? I rode a kid's bike into the pool. <laughs> that sounds completely harmless. I don't think it really, aside from the oil from the chain, yeah. getting in the water, they got filters. Yeah, exactly. Fuck you guys. I pay for that with my tax dollars. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but no, have you ever I been... pay my taxes, motherfucker. <laughs> have you ever been permanently deleted for life? Or deleted, uh, kicked out for life? I don't think so not that i know of not yeah if if i ever have it's been <laughs> so long ago that they wouldn't remember me yeah like the kansas now. city chiefs still allow you in in for football games they do okay i was kicked out of out of a preseason <laughs> game yeah yeah that's one of my favorite stories uh no i don't think i ever have I know I've been kicked out of places and stuff like that, but never, never for life. Um, what if I'm just permanently banned from preseason games? <laughs> they have you on a <laughs> list. That'd be the dumbest punishment ever. 
<laughs> oh god and I, I dare i ask jp have you i have Uh oh where is it Someplace that doesn't even exist anymore. <laughs> what was it? Kmart. <laughs> <laughs> and look what happened to those motherfuckers. Yeah, see right. what They lost your business and... Yeah, <laughs> yep. Gone. They should not have kicked me out of there. What, um, what'd you do? I did bad things. <laughs> I used to be a bad kid, man. But here's the thing. Were you pissing in the slush no. puppy machine? <laughs> I was trying to steal a CD. Oh, wow. Well. Like any fucking retarded white kid that fucking... And I don't even need That's to That's not even it, a crime these days. They so, give them away. Yeah, yeah for but now, you to take right, them. Right, right. But, but fucking crazy thing is... We went in there to fill out applications. To work there. To work there. Uh, <laughs> so I got busted, dude. And I felt like a fucking dumbass for getting busted because the fucking dude that busted me is this Jerry, this this black dude that looks like he's from a movie right out of the 80s. Jerry Curl fucking. He was. The opposite of Scotty's beard. He was, right. he was watching me. He was looking at garden hoses and like keeping an eye on me. And I was like. After he busted me, I was like, I should have known you wouldn't be looking at garden hoses. <laughs> like, what the fuck would you be doing with a garden hose? But anyway, the ironic thing is, they fucking busted me for that. Obviously, I didn't get hired. But the two guys I came in with, they hired them. Oh, great. And then they robbed them blind, dude. <laughs> I mean, oh, blind. So, really, they got the shit into that deal. But uh, uh, yeah, yeah, man, I wasn't yeah. the best. What kid CD ever. was it? Please tell me, Kenny Rogers. Please it was say Kenny Rogers. Box set. It was a box set, <laughs> and it was uh, ACDC. Well, then that's not a CD. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a box set. That's a that's box a set. More substantial. Right? Well, I mean, yes, yeah, correct. So, but anyway, I uh, <laughs> were you keystring it? I was not. Oh, God. I should have. Too yeah, bad. looking back on the <laughs> they situation, wouldn't have wanted it back. Yeah, but uh, anyway, anywho, uh, yeah, yeah, I had some friends who got hired on at Walmart that were kind of running that scam where oh. they were putting merchandise out with the trash. Yeah, and that's, after what they they closed, and, <laughs> that's what they did. That's what they did. And they got caught and gotten deep shit yeah. oh, after yeah. a year of doing it. Right. They had a they had a TV and a Sega Genesis in every room of their house, including yeah, the bathrooms. Dude, yeah. <laughs> that's how, <laughs> that's how we, dude, car stereos. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's bad. They, it was bad. Yeah. Uh, next one comes now in. You couldn't pay somebody to take a car stereo. Yeah. <laughs> no shit. Uh, next one comes in from Brian Watkins. He wants to know, never have I ever got out of my car during road rage. JP's getting real fucking close. I am, and I'll tell you why. People stop in the middle of the fucking <laughs> road for no goddamn reason around here. No, I have not ever gotten out of the car. Uh, yeah. I've gotten close a couple times, but I never. Yeah. I know, Scotty, you haven't. You just yell things at him and then speed away. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that wasn't because of road rage. That was native grass rage. Yeah. Uh, no, I've never gotten out of my yeah, my vehicle. I um, I, I, somebody else has gotten out of their vehicle and came up to me, and uh, it was because they fucked up. But, uh, but no, I stayed in my vehicle. I just uh, ignored them. Uh, how about you, Jeremy? Yeah. Oh, um, <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> I wasn't the one getting angry. This guy was angry at me for something I couldn't do anything yeah. about. I was kind of blocked in by two cars. It was after a fucking, it was a football game, a K-State football game, where trying to get out of the parking lot, and I kind of got, I was blocking the, the way for this guy to back out, but I couldn't move because there was a car in front of me, and then another guy had pulled right up on my ass, so I couldn't move anywhere. And he just starts fucking blaring on the horn and yelling at me. And so I just got out and he stopped. <laughs> and so I got back in. <laughs> and so I got back in. Yeah. Very well. Very good. Uh, all right. Next one comes in from Brady Michael Harrington, serial killer. Uh, he wants to know. Put him on the list. Yeah, mm -hmm. put him on the list. BMH. Yep. Uh, he wants to know, never have I ever went on a vacation and immediately regretted the location upon arrival. Hmm. Every Ooh. fucking time. <laughs> Every fucking time. There's people there. Yes. <laughs> I can't go. If there's an airport there, there's probably people. Yeah. Motherfuckers. I mean, even driving to certain places, like you get you get there and it's just like, ooh, this is false advertisement. Uh -huh. I, I feel I feel like my where we went for our honeymoon, we went, we went to Myrtle Beach and we had a, a hotel with a balcony overlooking the ocean and stuff like that. But I just felt like it was kind of dingy. 
And so I was just like, ooh, I don't know if this was the best idea, but eh, it worked out okay. Did they have free cable and free long distance phone calls? They did. Nice. They did. Yeah. Nice. Free yeah. HBO. Free HBO. <laughs> On my honeymoon. Uh, how about you, JP? I don't think so. You don't, but because you've never gone anywhere, though, right? No, that's not true. Oh, okay. Dick. All right. <laughs> well, uh, I just figured you were trying to conserve no, the Benjamins. No, that's not true. Oh, okay. I had, I haven't always been poor, Scotty. <laughs> oh, okay. You I spent used all to your take money. Okay, yeah. yeah so I, he used to I get his to... dog professionally trained all the time. <laughs> Correct. Correct. <laughs> Even when he didn't have one. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. He's paying for other people. But no, I, uh, I can't think of like any time I went somewhere. I'm like, fuck, I'm never coming back here. Yeah. I really don't. I. Maybe not net. I don't know. But, I can't uh, think of any place. Ah, well. Uh, and last one comes in from Ty- from Tyler Plackey. He wants to go. He wants to know what. Never have I ever dipped my balls in salsa to see if you really can taste with your balls. You would think you could find something better than salsa, mm-hmm. <laughs> right? Well, maybe he just Why wanted to salsa? see it because maybe it tingles if it's hot. Right, salsa. that's what I'm saying. Ah. Fuck that, not salsa. No, no, like mate, do guacamole. Tomato soup. Do you soup. have to <laughs> crunch up chips on your balls first? Because <laughs> nobody eats salsa straight. Right, no. that's true too. Absolutely not. Is that a thing? Do people think you can taste stuff with your balls? I've heard it. Really? I don't think it's true. It can't be true. No, no I can way. taste stuff. Like I would be able to taste the salsa. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no it, it cannot be true you want to know how i know because because you've dipped your balls in salsa no because if you've worked an entire day of your life and and it was vigorous work all of a sudden your balls would taste like you would taste the salty yeah salty balls Formanda. you never just burped something up that you're like well <laughs> yeah that's your ball scotty <laughs> is that what it right. is uh-huh. oh. now oh, i do knew. work with some chemicals at work that if you get them on your skin you can taste it in your mouth oh shit weirdest uh, yeah i believe you weirdest fucking thing you know the the iv drip that we had on on saturday uh-huh. they gave us like a vitamin b something and it 12 probably yeah vitamin b12 and it's like Whenever they're injecting it into your into your veins, you taste and smell citrus. Yeah, weird as fuck to me. Mm. I was like, "What the fuck is that? You can't smell." Well, anything. they in, in all fairness, they did Maybe. inject it in a vein in your tongue. Yeah, <laughs> so oh, they did? okay. Maybe you should have had them dip your balls in some salsa. Maybe I should have yeah. had them do that. You know? Oh well. Uh, but that is never have I ever. Now we get to move on to JP's favorite part of every single episode. This is That's Where I Draw the Line, and we're going to kick this thing off with Dev Dev. Dev Dev. Yeah, I haven't heard from him in a while. Uh, he wants to know how long do you have to be a f- or how long do you have to be a fan before you are considered a diehard fan? That's a good question. Oh, mm-hmm. I thought it was stupid. No, I think yeah, it's a I, good question. No, the I thought it was until you said that. And now, yeah, now I hate that's it. a shit fuck. That's the worst question that's ever been on this show. Dev, Dev, ever. I think it's a good question. I think that's because I, I need you to should be insulted out. by that, Dev. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, for you, I know it's like a year because <laughs> you fucking switch no. like every three or four. No, but look, I do that too. I was a Cowboys fan. I was a I, what I would consider a diehard Cowboys fan from the time I was like a fucking eighth grader until. Maybe eight eight years ago, I started. Okay, moved to the Broncos because until Jerry Jones dies, that team is not going to be good again because he can't <laughs> let the he can't let the people sure, that need to control it. it control it. So I'm like, dude, I'm not I'm not going to keep rooting for a team that almost gets there. Yeah, and doesn't do shit. He fucking ruined it whenever he, you know. Yeah, but but, but like, how long? Like, what does it take? Or is there any any sort of amount of merchandise that you have to that's buy? The, that's I think the thing. If if you consider yourself a diehard fan, people think, oh, you have to have merchandise and you have to have. No, I don't think like that's it, like true. there's a room you, in your house where it looks like the Detroit Lions just shat all over the right. walls, kind is that of thing. What your house looks like yes, not yet. It is. I, I oh, think to be a diehard fan, you have to have been with them long enough to have gone through a shit streak of losing year after year and doing continue. it right now <laughs> yeah in now progress. scotty you said you like this question right yeah jp you better fan him off he's probably gonna lose consciousness uh-huh. now. <laughs> that's how he deals with shit that he likes i guess so uh but no because the first year that uh i i i basically was a lions fan they they won one game or two games i think and then uh the next year they started getting better didn't make the playoffs and then last year they go to the uh NFC Championship, right? Game. So, so but two like years. you got a lot of fucking locals who never watched football until five years ago, and then jump on the Chiefs train. Yep, they don't get. They can buy all the merchandise in the world, right? If they didn't, 
suffer through the fucking eighties and nineties yeah. of all those <clears throat> shitty fucking Marty Schottenheimer playoff blowing bullshit. Yeah. Then they aren't diehard fans. I will say. I will say this, and and uh, break care break character a little bit. I would not consider You're doing myself. A character? I know. I would not consider myself a diehard fan because I just don't think it's been long enough. But I think there's like a requirement. I think I think Jeremy's right. I think you have to go through. I would say ten years of being a a fan and loyal to them, even going through shit years and still, you know, still it's, supporting them. It's, it's easy to be a fan. Good, sucks. Ten years is a good. Yeah. So. Whenever St. Louis, the St. Louis Rams left, uh, whenever they left St. Louis, went back to L.A. and didn't have a team forever. I just played fantasy football. Mm. I was just just looking for a team that I that I liked, and so it, it just hasn't been enough time for me yet. Like I think around here, the worst people in the world are people who are like. You know, I like K State and football, but KU, KU and basketball. basketball. Oh, fuck you, guy! You just want to root for who's winning. A hundred percent. Those those people are pieces uh-huh. of shit. Uh, anyways, all right. Next one. Let's move on to Ian Hotter. He wants to know how early is too early to start drinking margaritas on Cinco de Mayo? It's a holiday. Yeah, and you there can are start rules. When you wake up. There are rules for holidays. Uh, Christmas is the same shit. Uh, Cinco de Mayo is just like. <laughs> It's the white girl wasted holiday. Do they even celebrate Cinco de Mayo down there? I don't think so. Probably. Oh yeah, they do. Do they Probably. in Mexico? Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm just like any time it's Cinco de Mayo, it's like the American we're, we're, day to just start drinking and getting. That's absolutely a dumb fucked fucking up. question. Do they celebrate it? That's where, that's I, where it started. I, yeah. Not yeah. the new one either. I know. Yeah. Not the new one either. <laughs> no, the old one. The old one. <laughs> of course they celebrate it. I'm not yeah. an idiot, but at the same time, yes, you I, are. I mean, that's I, you I, like bold, that last question. Statement. I, bold statement, sir. I feel like we celebrate it equally as they do because well, everybody because every, white people will drink for any reason exactly just give that's me a what reason I'm, that's what i'm saying drunk white bitches yes, everywhere i hate it everywhere and it and they do they start yeah. drinking at seven o'clock oh, in yeah. the morning day drinking and then yeah. they end up at a bar drinking as many margaritas as possible and the margaritas are normally discounted so that works out yeah. uh how about you jeremy what do you think i don't drink margaritas so <laughs> I don't know. Around midnight is, is <laughs> too early. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, next one comes in for Brian Scott. He wants to know how long does your neighbor's grass have to be before you say something about mowing it? Oh my God! It doesn't have to be very long before my neighbor Joe says something. <laughs> Fuck you, Joe. We'll mow the grass when we're goddamn good and ready to fucking mow the grass. Uh, he called me over the other day. Jason, how you doing? Come over here. And I fucking walk over there. And he goes, you know when Zach's brother's going to cut that grass? Oh, no, geez. I don't, Joe. You can go fuck yourself. God damn yeah, it. That's, that guy is the worst. I would never do it, even if it's bad. I, I'm not that guy. I, I, I'm the guy, however, that if you say something to me, I will retaliate five times that of what you did. Yeah. I, I'm that guy. So I'm not going to bug you. It's your property. You do what you want. I have called in on somebody once. Have you? And it was not. So it was my and my ex's house, then a house, and then his parents lived in the house next to that one. Mm-hmm. And then the house next to them, dude. But it was like. I'm yeah. not even kidding you. It, it would have covered you. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, this is fucking ridiculous, man. I know Derek like, did. Derek had backyard neighbors yeah. that uh, he said basically had weeds that looked like fucking trees that were growing right. over their fence. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And he said that's something. What, but that's the only time I ever have. I still probably wouldn't have said anything. Yeah. Uh, that's me. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, when it becomes a problem for me, because right. uh, once grass gets so tall, it becomes perfect nesting ground for mice and shit. Right. Oh, and when you start getting pests in your house and yeah. in your yard, then yeah. I will. That's fair. Have you seen the uh, the Family Guy cutaway of uh, Abe Lincoln saying something to his neighbor? No. And yeah. he goes, uh, hey there, Steve. I noticed your grass is a little tall. Yeah, yeah. I used to have a guy for that, Abe. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. He goes, yeah, I used to have a guy for that. And then he just pans back over to Abe like, like that. And yeah. he's like, dick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, shit. All right. Uh, that's next, funny shit. N- next one comes in from Ryan Sims. He wants to know, how old is too old to be playing video games until you fucking die? Mm, yeah, man. That's Leave us alone. A dumb question. Who said that? Leave us alone. Ryan Sims. You're blocked. <laughs> You're, done. <laughs> You're done. I think he just wants us. I just think we, he wants us to justify. Well, Ryan, you just keep playing your video games, yeah. buddy. Yeah, man. Do you See, think I, he's a real sim? Huh? Do you think he's a real sim? Like Maybe. the sims? Yeah, I know what you Maybe mean. Maybe he is a video Maybe. game. 
Uh, uh, see, I used to wonder this myself, actually, legitimately, because as a kid growing up, I played them and my parents didn't. Adults didn't play them. And it kind of dawned on me one day, like, I'm the first generation right. to have always had video games of some type. Yeah. My, my brother was actually playing Pong while my mom was in the hospital having me. Wow. So that I, I have never known a time in my life where some type of video game was not there. So I don't know that you ever get too old. Just no previous generation yeah, had, had video it. games I that's, agree. to that's, play. That's a, that's a very good point. I, I'm kind of the same way. I think we got our first uh, uh, regular NES whenever I was like three or four. And they call it the reg. The reg. Mm -hmm. All right. And um, not the rec. The I reg. Was in high school. Right. Okay. Uh, you were in high school? Oh, regular NES or Super Nintendo? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah, you're old as fuck. Um, you and I are the <laughs> same age, and I got mine like in fifth grade. <laughs> yeah. Uh, again, poor no. <laughs> i'm just fucking with you uh but no yeah i i think i think especially now my like our generation i think we always will uh, what about online though because I've never been an online guy okay so me either and and this is again whenever i say until you fucking don't yeah. want to anymore right. because guess what the ones that are really old and are really good have millions of followers that right. love to watch yeah. them play so i yeah. think I, it's great i got into a conversation with a friend of mine that i went to high school with once that was telling me that he had really become this like online gamer and shit and at the time i didn't know much about it i'm like but I had heard of World of Warcraft, mm -hmm. and I was like, is that, you play like World of Warcraft and stuff? And he goes, oh, World of Warcraft is for pussies. And it was the only thing we completely agreed on, but for completely different reasons. <laughs> <laughs> what was your reason? Yeah, because uh, if you spend all your time doing that, you're kind of a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas it wasn't hardcore gaming enough for him. Yeah. All right. This is a, this last one is one I, I actually wonder uh, often whenever I'm not in that situation. Uh, but this one comes in from Chris Wallace. He wants to know, how long do you wait before turning around while sitting at a train crossing? I, I it, Dude. It depends. I, okay, here's the thing. I, I have my answer, and it is this. If the train stops... You fucking figure out a way to turn around. There may not be a way around it, and that's the tough part. Oh, you can always Duke's a hazard. That you can. Yeah, I mean, I. You I've, can't. You can't. You can't fuck you. You, you can't. never jumped a train. <laughs> no, not jump. That's what he's saying. Oh, I'm sorry. No, he's no. saying you can just Duke's a hazard over the top. I will. Of it I will go in a fucking ditch because we still have trains that run through Wichita. There's there's still like two main train tracks, and they are. A lot of towns have that, Scotty. I, I don't think you need to explain what a fucking train is to people. Not that. Not the sexual train. But they will legitimately stop out in Bel Air. They will stop on the track. Yes. So at Seneca and Kellogg, too, or uh -huh. yeah. whatever little street that is. Yeah. Dude. But And I always see people pulling away mm -hmm. and going, trying to. But where are they going? They're, go. they're, go, they're going back and they're getting on a the highway. They just don't want to be sitting there I just, waiting. There's, no high, there's nothing around there on if you're on this side of it. Like, if you're on this side of it, obviously, you can get back on Kellogg or whatever. But if you're on this side of it, there's nowhere to go. But I see him leaving, and I'm like, yeah. one time I tried to follow him. Did you? It was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> was it? I got lost. No, I, I think if the train stops, and make that yeah. immediate change. And it has happened to me before, and I went. I think I, I ended up having to drive, like, two miles out of my way in order to get away from the tracks just to be able to not be affected by it. So, yeah, yeah no, I, I totally see it. Uh, but, ladies and gentlemen, What that, about me? I didn't get oh, to answer. sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, Jeremy <laughs> Jesus Joseph. Jesus Christ. Jeremy Joseph, what are you thinking, buddy? Till I'm done masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so you got till I nut. <laughs> so, two and a half minutes. Uh, dude, I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, good for you, buddy. Uh, all right. Well, that is that's where I draw the line. Now we get to get to Jeremy's favorite part of every single episode. This is questions and preguntas. <clears throat> we got quite a few. We got quite a few questions on this one. Uh, first, I'm one, sure, as always, put people put a lot of good thought into it before putting pen to paper. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, we still getting some repeats. Still having people doing overrated or underrated. What's well, yeah. something you could say while you're having sex? Uh, not that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, first one. I actually like this one. Uh, first one comes in from Aaron Dundee. He wants to know. Crocodile's son. Yes, sir. Uh, he wants to know, worst idea for theme nights or promotional giveaways at a sporting event? <laughs> Mr. Fister. <laughs> <laughs> 
everybody carrying around a fist. Yeah, everybody gets a fist. Uh, of course, team branded. Yeah. Of course. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah. I think like a political book. Like, uh, like, yeah. like who? It doesn't matter who it is. Just like you know, like the mayor or something like that at the local baseball something game. Like oh yeah. yeah, get a signed book from your mayor. Get yeah. fucked, Jeremy. Pouches of Levi Garrett. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one too. I would go to that shit. Yeah, yeah but there'd be a lot of puking in the stands. <laughs> there would. A lot. Uh, Roofies. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How is the game? I don't know. I don't know. My ass hurts. <laughs> Those bleachers must have been pretty hard. Yep. I woke up and everybody was still at the game. Uh, let's go to Taylor Morosky. Hey, Taylor. Hey, Taylor. She wants to know rejected episodes in the Magic School Bus series. The Magic School Bus goes to blank. Uranus. Uh huh. Yeah, I think they did that actually once. I bet they did. Yeah, the that Miss Frizzle is a freak. <laughs> she <was. laughs> she kind of was. Uh, the Gaza Strip. That's good. I uh, like that. That'll be fun trip. Poor kids. How about you, Jeremy? The Hanoi Hilton. The Hanoi Hilton. <laughs> the Hanoi Hilton. <laughs> Chernobyl. Yeah. Just oh. the most infamous POW camp in all of <laughs> Vietnam War. All of Here, here is- children, we're going to see <laughs> just what Jane Fonda was so on board with. God forbid one of those kids was a Jewish kid. Right. Going to Gaza. <laughs> it's right. like, oh, no. Or going to Vietnam. Or they the- can't handle the humidity. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, they cannot. No, they can't. Hey. Uh, all right. Next one comes in from Steve Thompson. Oh God. JP says, if you get head from a dude, you're not gay, but if you give it to a dude, you are. How does that rule apply for taking it up? the? Oh, if you take in the ass, you're gay. 100%. But unless it's a girl. What about giving? Oh, well then. I think it's a give and take. I don't think that's gay. What? I only say that because I want straight dudes to fuck me. That's, <laughs> but it's gay. You ever seen it's the definitely gay? gay. You've seen it's Bait gay. Bus, haven't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, oh, yeah. God. I fucking used to ride that thing to, to, to school. <laughs> sure. <That's crap. laughs> I used to ride the Bait Bus to school every day. <laughs> the Bait Bus. There was a gay casting couch, and, and JP was in different disguises yeah. every uh-huh. other week. Yeah, yeah. Uh, really, I want I the part. I was the couch. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was actually the inside the couch. <laughs> I got my own lab coat, guys. Yeah. Look, check it out. <laughs> yeah, check I can play out. the scientist if you need me to, uh, the naughty scientist. Uh, yeah. Great. All right. Next one comes in from Caleb Hill. He wants to know, what would be a bad name for the, a monster truck? Hmm. I, I mean, might as well keep going. The diddler. Just have, di- just have Diddy's face on the side of it. Mm, oh the, the, kitty diddler. The, kitty the kitty diddler. The kitty diddler, yeah. yeah. Absolutely, that would be. How but about? have it kitty cat themed. <laughs> okay. So uh, people don't know if it's you're trying to lure children or if you <laughs> legitimately like to fuck cat. <laughs> hey, kittle diddle. <laughs> I guess you don't actually fuck the cat. You just molest it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's even right. creepier. That's I weird. would take a guy who straight up fucks a cat <laughs> over a guy who's just creepily... Feels one up. Oh, come sit on my lap, cat. <laughs> that to me is the biggest red flag ever. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's not come, good. Come straight at me. Just the let me know what you're know. working with. Oh shit! I I don't know uh, where I heard it or if I just thought about it, but I thought of something the other day, and I don't know why it brings me to this. But I think that all dudes that drive a Toyota Prius all look the same. Oh, yeah. And they have three cats, and they have short, like, like jean shorts on with the dad shoes. Always a white guy. And they're fat. No, nah, I think they're actually they're in glasses. somewhat sh- decent shape. Nope. Three cats is definitely re- a requirement. You rarely see a hardcore gangbanger. Get yeah. out of <laughs> see what I'm saying? Dude. <laughs> Just, oh. Check out this mileage, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Have you ever seen Weeds? Uh, no. One of the gangbanger guys, he buys a whole fleet of them because they're quiet. Oh, really? So that they can do drive-by <laughs> silent. That's smart, I guess, yeah. actually. It's uh, really hard to drive off in a huff. <laughs> right. Yeah. In a quiet car. Right. Uh, what about you, JP? You got a monster truck name? Uh, the Dominator. Oh, nice. Mm. That's good. Yeah. I like it. Uh, and, uh, yeah, Jeremy, you had the cat diddle diddle. All right. Kitty diddle. Whatever. Kitty diddle. <laughs> it was Get more it right. of an amalgamation of mine. I, I hate to say it, but it was kind of teamwork on our part. Yeah, it was. Now, I mean, that was a good question. Yeah, that yeah, was a good that, question. 
Uh, next one comes in from Travis Tharp. He wants to know, when you die, what is one stat you would like to know about yourself? Ooh, that's a good one. Number of times jacked off. I think that, I, and then like compare the stats. Can they? I don't think that. <laughs> I don't even think Jesus Christ Himself <laughs> could keep track of that. You know what I mean? Uh, like, the, like there's a board that you get up to heaven, and it just shows all these strange statistics of the people in. I'm gonna the, be at the top oh, of that you're fucking be list. At the top of that one. Yeah. Okay. One for every car in the train. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, how about you, JP? What? Uh, which one do you want to know? I don't know. You don't what? know. I don't. Uh, you want to get really pissed off? How much of my tax dollars, how much of my money went away? Oh, I already know that answer. Oh, God. All of it. That hurts. Yeah. I, I don't know. What's yeah? that I would want to know? Yeah, just like, like simple ones. How many guys I fucked? Okay, that's a good one. Because I have no, no idea. idea. <laughs> that's great. I can come up with the ballpark. I'm sure you could. But, yeah. Okay. How about you, Jeremy? Man, uh, I used to be a whore. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> just a whore. Uh, no condom, no problem. Okay, uh, Jeremy... <laughs> I'm cool with this. Let's just put it inside I, I me, hear, Daddy. I, I'm trying to keep stats here. <laughs> I'm trying to get a round figure from yeah. just based on how much he's going on about it. Sure, I know. Uh, I, I would like for them to have kept track of all the times I looked at somebody and went, oh, look at this fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that's a lot, too. Oh, absolutely. Number of times I rolled my eyes yeah. and shit. Yeah. yeah, that'd be good. Uh, that's great. They, they should put an odometer on my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> an eyedometer. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Ooh. If you will. Oh, yeah. That might be. Million dollar invention. That, yep. Right there. Somebody's going to steal that. And they sure are. Way to go. You <laughs> fucking blew it. Sorry. Probably that Sasquatch asshole on TikTok. He thinks he can take every <laughs> fucking thing. he wants. <laughs> hey, if it's a word, I can just copyright it. Yeah. Motherfucker. Uh, all right. Uh, next one comes in from Down Under. This is from Daniel Delaney. He wants to know, what's the title of P. Diddy's next album? I did it for the kids. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man. That's rough. Oh, God. Dang uh, it. Little Ones Running Around the Mansion. Yeah. That's going to be the new song. Jeremy, how about you? Rolling in my Prius. <laughs> Rolling in my Prius. <laughs> okay, I like it. Uh, and then uh, next one comes in from Dennis Gua. I'm sorry. Guadarrama, I think that's how you pronounce it. Dennis Guadarrama. Uh, he wants to know if the trans community had a coffee shop. What are you what? from, New Mexico? <laughs> yeah, I am. Yeah, actually, nice. I actually fit in quite well, quite well down there. Uh, but he wants to know if the trans community had a coffee shop, what would it be called? <laughs> I can't believe it's not coffee. <laughs> <laughs> the WNBA. Yeah, I, mean, I can't believe it's not coffee. Yeah, that's true. Uh, how about you, Jeremy? Coffee looks like a lady. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's good. Uh, Jeremy, uh, unassuming Java. I. <laughs> They, I know it looks like it has cream in it, but that doesn't it uh, doesn't identify that way. <laughs> and then it sells tea and not coffee. Uh, all right. Uh, next one comes in from Jesse Petal. Uh, he wants to know movies that'd be better if the protagonist was fat. Hmm. Cool runnings. Put him at the front of the sled. He'd weigh it down. Go faster. I'd watch a fat Dougie Doug. Yeah, fat <laughs> Dougie Doug would be dope, actually. That would. I I always thought John Candy should have had to at least do one run. Yeah, on, yeah. on the on track. The, yeah. yeah. Oh, you could have had a you could have had a, the in uh, White Men Can't Jump. Just have uh, that would be uh, good. Uh, Woody Harrelson. Oh, that'd be fat. that'd be great. That'd be cool. That'd be awesome. Uh, anybody else? Oh, there's plenty of them that oh, would be okay. Uh, Lion King. I, all I can ever think Batman. of. Batman. <laughs> Oh Fat yeah, man and Robin. Fat man and Robin. He goes to fucking. <laughs> he starts swinging and the fucking building just comes down. It's been a long time, but Jeremy, well, Jeremy, uh, you, you can do your Superman. Yeah, I can. Yeah. Have you heard about this, JP? No. I am so upset that Superman is always ripped. Okay. Because he gets his strength from our son. It gives him infinite strength and infinite speed, which means nothing on this planet would serve as an adequate workout for him. Okay. 
he shouldn't burn hardly any calories at all because everything just comes completely. He should look like me. Yeah. <laughs> That's what, thought, it, but they always get the it, most. His muscles have nothing to do with his. If it makes face. you feel any better, you're my Superman. <laughs> yeah. I know. That. You always will yeah, be. I know. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. And last but not least. Uh, comes in from Dev Dev again. Uh, he wants to know rejected names of horses in the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a deaf horse? <laughs> oh my and God. Even gross. <laughs> it fucking gallops backwards. <laughs> Oh, it just, it, as soon as they open the chute, it just turns around and fucking starts <laughs> galloping backwards. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good. Oh, man. The, His name's Glue. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, horse talk. Yeah. You gotta, we got to get some horse uh-huh. talk in here. It's Jeremy. Jeremy did you ever back. get a theme song for that segment? I did not. Oh, sure. I did not. But, uh, That's the one, all right. That would just draw out this fucking yeah. pain and misery longer. The one, the one that I always think of and it, whenever I get a uh, question about a horse is actually a real race horse's name, and it was Hoof Arted. And the annou- and he won a fucking race, and so the announcer just going who farted, who farted, who farted, and that was the funniest thing to me at the time I was uh, twelve. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, junkies needle, <laughs> junkies needle. I like that one. I like that one too. <laughs> oh god. Here's what's weird: is a lot of times those race horses actually have just normal fucking horse names. Yeah, but they have the the horse racing association makes them give them like a fancy name, like Secretariat. Mm-hmm. Real name was Big Red. Yeah, that was the real name of the fucking horse, and they're like, "Yeah, that's too bland. You got to come up with something." So they gave it the most feminine fucking sounding name possible for a big old fucking male stud horse. <laughs> yeah, that's that's definitely true, and they, and it can't. I don't think it can be one that has ever been out there before, if I remember correctly. Like you have to go in and actually have to register. Yeah, it it's kind of like the Screen Actors Guild. Yeah. In uh, fact, it's exactly like it's that. It's exactly like There's that. There's no difference. I would no. love to see a Hollywood movie with nothing but horses. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's questions and preguntas. And thank you guys so very much for participating in Monday Friday. Keep your eyes peeled again for this Friday, uh, for Monday Friday. And, uh, yeah, if we like your suggestion, we'll put it on the show and give you a shout-out pretty much like we did this whole time. Uh, but now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. And let me just say something real quick. JP should have fucking won last week. You damn right I should have. JP Fuck you guys. should have fucking won. And I think what is happening is that people are going and voting on the draft. But they're not watching it. Before they listen to the right. episode. So. It's all them New Mexicans coming across the border. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But. Don't do that anymore because uh, Derek, while he had good stuff, I should not have won because I I you fumbled. fumbled. I fumbled. I, I I should not have picked golf clubs. I should have thought of the many things that Derek has that we can tell you more about uh, if we wanted to because yeah. <laughs> it made him uncomfortable. Yeah. But JP should have definitely won. So with that being said, he did win. That's six in a row then. That's six in a row. But there's an asterisk. There's an asterisk. And that's okay. And that's all right. That's like Barry Bonds. That's fine. fine. Yeah. Roger Maris type. Yeah. Yeah, Right. Eventually, someday they'll take that asterisk. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) But you won't live to see it. Right. No. It'll be there forever uh, for the rest of your life. Yeah. Um, So, anyways, uh, that means that uh, JP gets the uh, championship picks again. Uh, I got uh, dead last, as I should have. Uh, And so I'm in the sandwich picks, uh, the Eiffel Tower picks, as I call them. And Jeremy Joseph hadn't been here for the longest, and so he gets the overall first pick. And this week's draft, uh, I'm really excited about. I, I've been wanting to do this one for a really long time. This week's draft is going to be our favorite type of dog breeds. So, yeah, there we go. Oh, I didn't hear the breeds. Okay, favorite type of dog breeds. Okay. What were you going to do? Dead. Oh, <laughs> dead dogs? Those are my favorites. Oh, yeah. gotcha. My favorite type. Uh, I just okay. thought type of dogs. Yeah, okay. Uh, but no, Jeremy Joseph, you get the overall number one first pick. Don't fuck it up. Well, I don't know that you can because all dogs are great. They all are. are they, well, not all of them. Well, not individual dogs, but just dogs in general. Okay, fair enough. Great. 
Um, I got to go with my favorite, the Golden Retriever. Golden Retriever is an excellent, excellent pick. And you can't fucking have it. I know. That's, 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 that's definitely a good one. I, I, I don't think that would have been my number one. Um, you never had one. You weren't good enough. I know. I did have one. When I was a baby, I had a Golden Retriever. Well, I had a better one. Okay, fine. We, we when both I was a great. fucking adult, I, I don't think it's I don't think it's tough to say, but right. I I like dogs more than I like people. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. okay, no, yeah, no, that's I'm not a controversial no statement. Okay, it. all right, just making sure. Yeah. There was somebody that said, "You mean to tell me that if somebody came into your house and like tried to hurt your dog, you'd shoot the person?" I'm like, yeah. absolutely, one hundred percent. I value a dog more than I yeah. value a person oh, in my house. No doubt. Well, here's I have said this so many times that like if my son would have come home beat up it would piss me off but i would have questions because i've seen my son be an asshole right and he deserved it if my dog came home beat up oh somebody's dead there's no short amount of time as to how quickly i would fuck your world up. yeah Yeah. absolutely i'm armed my dog never did anybody (laughs) that's scary uh i'm gonna go with uh probably my favorite dog uh, breed that i've ever had and that would be a labrador retriever labs are awesome dogs my black lab was my favorite so dog cool. i've ever had They're bandit cool rest dog. in I got peace to be a black lab he was the shit i remember that dog and he was fucking he great. was so amazing so but yeah that is my favorite and uh jp that means you get two in a row uh I, I know your first. Can I guess your first one? Sure. Can I go with Bull Mastiff? Wrong. Oh no! Really? Saint Bernard. Okay. Oh, was, Dude, oh, that's right. That's right. I'm my, sorry. I have the coolest fucking Saint Bernard yeah. in the world. She is so fucking cool, They're man. Fucking huge. Dude, she is so badass, man. That's crazy. Yeah, that's she's, a good pick. She's awesome. I, I've I've had uh, I've had been around one and an excellent dog. Uh, what is your next pick? My next pick is. Dalmatian. Oh, uh, what? They're such cool dogs. I've heard they were assholes. Dude, they're such good dogs. They're very uh um like protective, I guess. Sure. Well, that's but, what their original job was. Yeah, but they're very you, they're not good people dogs. Like they're not good. No, like, good pick then. They're, <laughs> no. They're just they don't like do I'm not a good people person. Good around like That's true. new people or what if it's somebody that comes over a lot or whatever, they're usually fine. But when you're new in the house, man, like I my Dalmatian once he got to know you, you were cool. But until he got to know you, dude, he would just fucking not even yeah. just circle them and fucking make sure they weren't doing nothing. They're cool dogs, man. Okay. My That's golden like, retriever would help somebody rob my shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have had a dog or two like that as well. My boxer shepherd mix pretty much would just help whatever I'm they were. I'm pretty sure got. Bandit would have done the same shit. Yeah. Like, hey, man, what you doing? Oh, right. you want that? Hey, you, come want on. Me to, you want me to help you yeah, carry it? Right. I'll help you carry it. That's my boxer shepherd mix. Uh, and then uh, my, I guess my second pick is going to be the dog that I currently have right now, and he is such a good boy, he and is he a is a boy. fucking couch hippo, and I <laughs> love him to death. Uh, I'm going to go. I mean, he's a Staffordshire Terrier. He's a pit bull. Yeah. He's, he's, a, he's a bully. And so he is fucking awesome. He is this shit. Uh, so I'm going to go with good old Freddy, the pit nice. bull. Jeremy Joseph, you get two in a row. I'm going to go with maybe the coolest dog that I've ever seen while I was out at that dog trainer. Uh, Connie Corso. Okay. Have you seen these things? Yeah. They're, they're pit bull on steroids, uh-huh. more or less. It's like a, put a pit bull in a St. Bernard size. Whoa. This motherfucker was 125 pounds. Yeah, they're he big. Was, he was a little over a year old and just the biggest big sweetie. <laughs> just, I mean, That's good. They, they are big protective guard dogs and they're typically kind of aloof of people but mm-hmm. because of this one i like them all okay all right that's fair enough and then you get another pick oh do i yeah you get two in a row <laughs> i'm going to go just because i think it's so fucking cool to watch them work the border collie okay yeah i was gonna all say right. collie collie's a good one man they're Those fucking they're really collie. smart dogs oh, too my god uh, all right that I, I i don't i've never had a border collie so i don't really know a whole. i don't know that they're great pets yeah. because they are so high energy and you have to keep their brain working yeah but if you have animals to herd they're amazing yeah okay uh i am then gonna go with uh 
<laughs> the good old faithful, old reliable police dog, canine dog, German shepherds. Yeah, great dogs. Yeah, excellent dogs. Cool very dogs. smart. I, I probably would never own one because of their fur. It's too long. And I've got a buddy that he's yeah. always had. You German know, Hitler shepherds. had a German shepherd. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, JP, you get two in a row. I'm going to go with uh, Great Dane. Uh huh. Okay. And Greyhound. Oh, yeah. You got to get Wrigley in there. No, full size. Full size, full size Greyhound. I used to work at the Greyhound Park, and dude, I am t- they are the sweetest they really are. fucking dogs. They are so cool. So my, They're so much fun to be around. They're just awesome dogs. When my stepdad... Um, Until you bet on a fucking Quinella. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Coming around, right. Motherfuckers. Right. Uh, when my stepdad uh, first married my mom, that was our first dog. He was a dude, retired racing so cool, dog man. greyhound. And they're he was. He so was so cool. Excellent, excellent And they're excellent always dog. up for adoption, those retired they, yeah. greyhounds. If anybody wants a good dog, that's a... It great, is a great way to get yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. They are not near as hyperactive as you'd think. They're actually no. pretty lazy. Well, dude, they don't, yeah. They don't even run that much. They're mostly just in cages, yeah. which sucks. Yeah, yeah. full but, speed, uh, they are the third fastest animal on the planet. Yeah. Which is fucking Crazy. insane. Yeah. Their whole what's, body is like a spring. What's the what's number two? Obviously, one is cheetah. Do you know what number two uh, is? The pronghorn uh, antelope. I was really? thinking platypus. You were thinking platypus? I was thinking platypus. Ah, man. Have you ever seen one of them run? No. Fuck. They're, quick. They're quick. They're quick. They're quick. Well, I knew a guy who liked to fuck him. Yeah. Well, <laughs> not really. He just liked to fondle him. Just, uh, okay. just with Fucking him. Let me, weird Let me fondling. rub your bill. Oh, he, Jesus. Uh, no, uh, pronghorn antelope can go like 68 miles an hour, where a cheater can go like 73. Jesus. But... A antelope can keep that up for like eight miles. Jesus, it's Christ. fucking ridiculous. That's nuts. Where the cheetah can only do it for like short, short space. period of time. Yeah. Uh, do you know the fastest animal on Earth? Me, <laughs> it's Jeremy go. Joseph. Me jerking off at a train. Any eighteen to twenty year old boy that I'm chasing because <laughs> oh, no. they are quick. They are quick. No, it's a fucking hawk. It's like a it's a oh, bird. Yeah. Oh, it's a peregrine falcon. Yes, oh, falcon. Yeah. That's what they it can is. go faster go. than terminal velocity yeah. when diving, and people aren't real sure how that happens. Yeah. Uh, so, anyways, uh, Jeremy Joseph, uh, or no, uh, but you they're not him. on Earth when they do it. Correct. So I pick uh, again. no, it's actually my. I, I already wrote my pick down, mm. and I forgot about it. Um, good one. Yeah, but it's a bulldog. Yeah, they're cool. a good old American bulldog. Are they are the, oh, you, you don't like the have, American bulldog? Yes, not the British. I I like the American bulldog. They are so fucking cute, and they don't. I mean, you have to exercise them a little bit. But they're they, temperamental, they, man, they, dude. But they're they're protective. Yeah, that's no, yeah, that's, they're, that's, they're, that's where the Staffordshire. Yeah, but they're cool. Gets. They're cool. Uh, I think they're cute as shit. So yeah, I'm gonna go I with agree. a bulldog. And uh, now we get to uh, Jeremy Joseph. You get your last two picks. My last two. Mm-hmm. God damn it. I love dogs. I know. So me much. too. Um, I like boxers. I'll go with boxers. Okay. That's a good pick. I was hoping that that would come back to me, but it didn't. Well, fuck you. Yeah, that's, I know. That's what I'm all about. <laughs> that's, that's the only reason I like dogs, because fuck Scotty. Yeah. That's okay. why. That, I mean, fair. That's fair. And um, then your last pick. God, I got my sentimental favorite, but yeah, they're terrible fucking dogs. They so, are. You know what I, I really like? Just because I something about them is so fucking cool to me. Corgis. I love fucking corgis. Okay. All right. I like it. Fag. All right. And now yeah, I, if you can find a gay corgi. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But they're always tops. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, they really are. Okay. So my last my last pick is also another dog that I would never own. But I love it when my friends have them because they are uh, very vocal and they're fucking hilarious. And I just think they're cool. But because they have very long, poofy coats, they would just absolutely drive my wife crazy and allergies would go nuts. And I'm going to go with the Siberian Husky. Cool dogs. Very cool. And the videos of them talking. Yeah. They have almost Fuck. mastered it. It is hilarious. I think rather than banning TikTok, it should just be dogs. <laughs> Dog yeah. Yeah. That's all I watch, watch yeah. it for anyway. And the, the flat duster guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. And then, JP, you get your last pick. I am going to go with the Basset Hound. Basset Hound. That's a good one. They're, uh, they're very cool. My yeah. grandparents had a Basset Hound when we were growing up. And yeah. Pokey. Uh, and yeah? he would just go fucking. 
<laughs> he would just go out and lay in the middle of the street. Those and people in the neighborhood just knew like he would be out there, so they avoided him. Yeah. And there's nothing you could you could not get that motherfucker to come in the yard or they he would go right out on and his mattress would, no right like in the that. middle of the fucking street dude are, he are, was a cool dog are those the ones with really short legs and long ears yeah, oh yeah, yeah those are fucking yeah. cool they're fucking cool yeah, dogs he was, a, he was cool man was there any um fred from Smokey and the bandit oh yeah 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 any, and didn't roscoe p coltrane he roscoe p coltrane flash <laughs> yeah flash yeah do, do you have any i mean obviously jeremy you would probably the one that you were talking about or referring to is the dachshund right and they're yeah. terrible fucking dogs they, they're, they're they can be mean well, they can be mean, and they're just... Here's the thing with scent hounds. They are bred to be dumb. <laughs> they really are. I mean, Dashhund literally means badger dog. Oh, wow. If a dog had any fucking sense of any size, yeah. let alone these little fuckers, they wouldn't go after badgers. Yeah. But because they're, they're just so bred to follow their nose and not think, they'll yeah. go into a badger's hole, Yeah. which is why they have the long bodies and... Uh, short legs so they can get into badger holes and my whole thing is but then what <laughs> <laughs> what are they gonna just fucking but bark at them the problem with with that is not getting into the hole we've had shovels for yeah. a while we can get down to the badger if we need to it's what are you gonna do with it when you get it right because i've i've had a run-in with the badger before and a shotgun won't do it no um i almost picked a rot rottweiler i like rotties yeah, i like rottweilers i like too. rotties they're cool yeah. um they just look mean they can be very very sweet i think it has a lot to do with the owner yeah. oh i've never met a mean rottweiler okay, or so doberman yeah, yeah. so i yeah was doberman that. was another one i was they, thinking they of. can all be trained to be guard dogs sure but and, have and you ever, any dog have you ever been around an akita oh yeah oh yeah i i if if they weren't fucking huge, I would love to have mm -hmm. one. They they like uh, like they will get up on their back legs and push you the fuck over. But they have you have to be like train them right. to not obviously do that. But but or uh, pay to have somebody do it or pay you know, pay I'm lots of money to to do it. Right. But, but yeah, any others? Not a small dog guy, but I like Yorkies. Do you really, dude? They're so cool. Like uh, they're smart. They're really cool dogs. Yeah, I have learned. My I used boss to has hate two of small them. Dogs. And they're fucking pretty cool. I'm not a big. I used to hate dog. them. Turns out I hate their owners. Yeah. Here's okay. That's yeah. fair. See, and my boss isn't like that. It, like, her, dude, they're cool dogs. Except, I mean, except for people who own Chihuahuas. I hate people who own Chihuahuas yeah, and Chihuahuas all at the same time. I only like one Chihuahua. Yeah. Okay. And it's that Rico. Taco Bell dog? No, Rico. <laughs> and he's even Wiz scared of everybody. Dog. Rico Suave. Dude, Rico. Oh, that dog yeah. will hump for no yeah, reason. Dude, that, <laughs> he can, Rico's on command. cool, dude. On command. Uh, the last one that I was going to say was a beagle. I don't I don't know why we didn't pick it. Because that's I a had good. A beagle that's, a, that's another that's dumb a, fucking. I mean, you know, you can try. I mean, literally bred to be stupid. Oh, yeah. well, you never know. Uh, but, ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's draft. You can go to Facebook.com after you watch the, or listen to the <laughs> fucking episode and pick your list of the, our favorite dog breeds that you like the most i can also go to x which is at lot sidelines and vote there as well i do factor that in because jp technically won the twitter vote but number of votes derek did but it doesn't matter because fuck derek fuck derek and uh <laughs> and you guys didn't vote and until uh well you, you should vote after you listen to the actual episode so anyways uh but now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode this is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer. And ladies and gentlemen, Lego! Yes! They've returned their sponsorship. Huh? That's right. Yeah. It's only when Weird you're here. how that, that always coincides with me. Man, I don't no. know. I think they really more sponsor me than anything. I think, I think you're, you're exactly right. right. I'm not sure if I've done this one. It seems like I should have, but I don't recall this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and do it anyway. And yeah. if you've heard it before... Fucking don't listen. I don't give a shit. <laughs> uh, on the morning of December 6, 1917, a French cargo ship known as the SS Mont Blanc was uh, pulling into Halifax Harbor. Uh, at the same time, a Norwegian vessel known as the SS Emo, not, not like the ones that shop at Hot, hot Topic, but uh, <laughs> no, IMO, uh, 
was leaving uh, the same. Uh, fuck, I can't even read my own goddamn handwriting. <laughs> uh, the SS Emo was leaving the same harbor uh, due to poor communication tactics. The two collided in the harbor. It was kind of a light collision. These actually happened fairly frequently, especially back then in uh, busy harbors like Halifax. Unfortunately, the Mont Blanc was there uh, to wait for a convoy of ships headed for World War One, and so it was carrying a load of fuel and bombs and munitions and other high explosives there to resupply the French army. Uh, the resulting explosion was the largest man-made explosion at that time in human history. <laughs> wow. It basically destroyed huge portions of uh, Halifax as well as the nearby community of Dartmouth, uh, killed 1,782 people, Jesus. and seriously wounded another 9,000 more. Wow. And now your child can recreate the magic <laughs> of this moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos, find as many ways as you can to say, fuck you, Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Jeremy, I don't think you ever did do yeah, that one. I don't, I don't really? remember. Yeah, yeah, I don't think you did. If you did, I don't one. remember it. But uh, anyways, thank you, Jeremy Joseph. Appreciate my that. My pleasure. My pleasure. And you're welcome, Legos. Yep. Uh, now, uh, this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation is, would you rather every time you see salsa, you have to put your balls in it, <laughs> or at all times, you have to wear a guardian helmet cap? Yes. Everywhere. Uh, <laughs> JP? Dude, do tell. Come on, man. Do I even have to say it? No. I'm dipping my balls in the salsa. <laughs> uh, no. God damn it. And I love salsa. Well, uh. I don't, I'm not around salsa a whole lot, but uh. when I am, it's usually in public. Yeah. So I feel like that's the way I'm going with it. Well, now, and the other thing is, is me and you are friends, so now I have to be very cautious about what <laughs> salsa I eat hey, out you want to go out to eat? <laughs> So you can go to Carlos of Kelly's. Jer right? Be Jer like John Fox. John Fox was a comedian who was the reason why you don't eat the mayo in the comedy concert. Yeah. <laughs> JP's fucking taking the salsa to the bathroom, Take, coming out and yeah. be like, I, I was just eating it in there. No big uh, deal. I'm going to have my own brand of salsa. It's called I Dip My Balls in It. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, but the thing is, is if you wear a guardian cap everywhere. Dude, I couldn't. Like you know what people are gonna think you're fucking weird, <laughs> weird? as opposed to or, dipping your balls in the salsa. Like, yeah, weird. they're just gonna think you're quirky or retarded. Either way, uh, better than fucking. Uh, probably think you're retarded if you're wearing a guardian cap. Absolutely, that was my answer. I'm wearing the guardian cap, oh, yeah. so that way when I choose to dip my balls in salsa, <laughs> if that nobody will get weird. mad because they'll just think I'm retarded. <laughs> yeah. Plus, you get to skip all the lines that fucking world's of fun. Absolutely. Right. Six flags. I can dip my balls in salsa at my leisure. Yeah. And I can get my away with leisure. a lot of shit. <laughs> not, only, I, not all salsa is deserving of my balls. Not right. to mention, nobody tells me when I can uh, when I have to dip my balls. Not only that, but you have to think, there are very, very good salsas out there, but there are also very, very, very hot, hot, yeah, hot man. salsa. Yeah. I don't care if that's in your tongue or on your balls. It's got to burn. It going to burn. That's... And the other thing is that the Guardian helmet cap thing would be really safe. Well, I you know if you use the Manscaped ball toner. Yeah, that's right. That'll just cool right. that right down. It's I use sure that would. so much. My balls are so toned they have abs. I yeah. use it on my cheekbones <laughs> <laughs> just to get that extra pop. Yeah. Yeah, and see, that's the thing. I think I'm going to go with the Guardian helmet cap because, you know, I'm just going to be right. really safe all, all the fucking time. I just like dipping my balls and shit. Yeah, I know. And that, but that, oh, gosh damn it. Uh, well, I yeah. do too, but I don't want to do it in a substandard salsa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Or really fucking so hot salsa. You guys went with Guardian Cap and I went, went Guardian salsa. Cap. I went who, Guardian Cap. Who, okay. Jeremy little went off both, topic. Kind of. What? Well, no, I went with the cap so that I can get yeah, my right. balls without repercussion. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Because I believe that's a ticketable offense. Yeah, that's probably so. <laughs> Otherwise, they, but they don't ticket tards. Especially if you're at, <laughs> yeah, they don't ticket tards. That's a t-shirt if I've ever fucking heard one. I've got to get that on a t-shirt. Oh, that's good shit. Uh, and somebody asked us about merchandise. It, Cops don't ticket tards, dude. That's got to be tards. one of the first. That's got to be one of the first the shirts. The thin blue line right there. That's yeah. right. Oh, shit, wear that everywhere. Yeah. Nope, you can't. And the Guardian cap. Yeah, yeah you got to wear the cap. <laughs> if you don't completely outfit Guardian it, cap, it's yeah. Got, yeah. Oh, yeah dude. Uh, but you were going to say something, Jeremy, do you remember? I was just curious on a different subject, sure. but sort of on salsa. In you guys' opinion, 
What restaurant has the best salsa in town? Ooh, that's... I don't like salsa. Really? That's why he wants to dip his nuts in I don't it. like onions, and there's always onions in yeah, there. They're, that's yeah. Not, okay, when they chop them up, fine. No, it I doesn't like matter. Okay, yeah. so, so in town, the salsa, it to me, is, is Los Cocos. But my favorite salsa in Kansas it comes from my hometown of Garden City, and that is El Zarape's uh, uh, salsa. And you can buy that at Dylan's. Well, I guess when we get around to your fucking hometown, yeah. Scotty, <laughs> no, I asked who has it in town here. Los Cocos, in my opinion. You, you think so? Okay. I, I do. What about you? Abuelos. Oh, really? I'm a big fan of Abuelo salsa. The three salsas? That you have? No, I just like their original uh, okay. salsa. In fact, I will ask for an entire bowl of just that because oh. I don't like that mix and match bullshit. I do like the salsa at uh, Felipe's. Okay. That's disgusting, but okay, I understand and it's respect your opinion. Just really no. like i mean but no. that's the kind of salsa i would like it's like, it's tomato, like puree it's, it's like tomato soup is what yeah, <laughs> it's not even it's spicy not. uh but anyways well hey guys thank you very much jeremy joseph thank you very much uh for uh-huh. for coming yeah uh how's how's uh how's your work schedule doing there bud it's it's uh we're we're actually cutting back uh quite a bit on ours so uh, we're not working near as much overtime that's awesome you want to be on the show next week nope okay <laughs> <laughs> Just checking. Damn it. Okay, fine. Uh, I guess we'll have to have fucking dairy. I guess so. Now ask me if I'm busy. Are you busy? <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. No, I'm not. I could have answered that one. I, uh, <laughs> oh, shit. I'm going to be practicing on salsa. Oh, uh, very good. Uh, but ladies Balls and gentlemen, yeah, thank, thank you very much uh, for uh, doing what you guys do, helping share the show. Uh, me and JP will be working on some, uh, some merchandise, so we will uh, let you know when that stuff comes out. When is it going to happen? Whenever we fucking feel like it. All right. Uh, but we got some stuff in the mix. By the way, when does the next podcast I'm come out? I'm very busy. <laughs> yeah. Every Wednesday, Jeremy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. New. That's yeah. something new. Yeah. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> but anyways, uh, but thank you guys so very much. We sincerely do appreciate it. Thank you, Jeremy, Joseph, and JP. Uh, we will be here next week. Uh, and as we always like to say, guys, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. But if you don't like us, I hope your best man loads his gun with blanks on your wedding day. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys. A is for Apple. J is for Jax. <laughs> until next time. Keep laughing, assholes. We'll see y'all later. Take care. <laughs>